Hi everyone and welcome back to the free to play experience. If you came here to learn all about how to make decent credits in World of Tanks, you came to the right place. In this video I'll show you my top 10 tricks on how I make the money go round. And the first one I would recommend is this tank, the M10 French Tank Destroyer at tier 5. It's a premium tank that you can buy but not with gold, use the bonds that you have collected over time to buy this tank. Currently it's 5000 bonds to spend on a tank that will make you loads of credits. It's a tier 5 tank, which means that ammo cost and repair cost are still significantly lower than what you would pay at tier 9 or 10. And since it's a premium tank, these costs are even lower. So the combination of a tier 5 tank with the fact that it's a premium vehicle is perfect to make approximately 20,000 credits profit per match. If you do not have the bonds, you can earn them by completing daily missions or fighting in your tier 10 tank if you already happen to possess one. The effect of the tier 5 premium tanks can be stacked if you use your credit boosters. For some reason, us free to play players tend to save up on everything of value in a game. But don't forget that these boosters are there. I would recommend to combine the boosters with this tank to further scale your profit per match. Also, currently the Holiday Ops event provides a 50% credit boost if you complete all the missions from Arnie and Mila, so make sure to focus on Amber and Iron resources instead of the Atmosphere. As you can see, however, there is a restriction for this 50% bonus to be combined with premium vehicles, but the bonus can still be applied to all your regular tanks that you like to play. And don't forget, be patient with your next acquisition. Completing 28 missions in this event will reward us with a 20% discount on the next tier 10 tank. 20% on a tier 10 tank of 6.1 million is a save of 1.2 million credits, so don't forget that. The number 3 tip then, maybe an obvious one, but not that simple if you are getting frustrated and try to rack up credits, stay alive longer and try to block more damage so that your repair costs are lower as well. For starting players, I would therefore recommend to start with heavy tanks, as they block more incoming shells, and as for the N10 French tank destroyer, invest in camo so that you can shoot more without getting noticed. Number 4. Check your depot. Most of the time there is a lot of stuff you don't actually need anymore. Sell tanks you never play anymore. Sell gifted tanks you received from events, honestly, who needs 55 large repair kits, so sell vehicles you didn't like playing anyway, and any consumable ammo or old spare tank part you don't need anymore can help you towards your next goal. While we all want to get to tier 10 tanks, my garage is always a combination of lower tier tanks like tier 5 and 6 that are fully upgraded and are used to gain credits. My higher tier tanks are also fun to play, but I mostly lose credits with those. So trick 5 would be keep the combination alive and always check your balance at the bottom right corner. If you end the day with a loss, try to limit the loss by playing 1 or 2 rounds in the M10, you'll have gained like approximately 40 to 50,000 credits. For number 6, only use small repair kits and small med kits, be patient with them. Try to check the timer, you'll have a new kit available every 90 seconds and also using this kit once will make you pay the cost of that med kit or repair kit, but using the kit several times in a match will keep the cost at 3000. This tip is also one for the more patient players. Several times a year the equipment can be bought at 50% of the original price. However, don't overdo it like I try to do and try to resell them when the price is higher again because since you buy them at half the price, reselling them will also be at half the price, so actually making the margins zero. Also keep in mind that you can unequip your gear from the tank and move it up to the next tank. The equipment is divided into three tiers, so equipment for tier 5, 6 and 7 costs the same and can be used on those same tanks. Equipment for tier 8, 9 and 10 costs the same, so don't forget to move up your equipment from let's say your tier 8 tank to your tier 9 to your tier 10, so that you don't have to invest in this equipment each time again. 
So what you want to do is be mindful of your credit balance and be strategic about when you will spend your credits. If I'm in the need of credits, I will always switch out my daily missions uh, that do not reward credits. If you are in need of bonds, like I told you before, to buy a premium tank for example, switch out the missions that do not supply bonds. The bonus daily mission can reward you up to 65,000 credits. Number 9 is also one to be reckoned with, don't forget the campaign missions, they provide easy credits, but note that you'll not be able to go quickly through them. But the boost of uh, 75,000 or even 100,000 credits is specifically worth it. Also large medkits and repair kits can be sold again, so upping your profits again. For example, the light tank campaign missions make you up to 1 million credits altogether, so keep an eye out for these missions and try to complete them with a tank that is not too expensive as well, because you lose the profit along the way. And last but not least, you can get free premium as a reward from events. Premium gives you like 50% extra credits, so that would be a time to start stacking these credit boosts. First of all, play with the premium tank so you have less repair costs than during premium time because it will provide you with an extra 50% of credits and experience. Add a 50% credit booster on top of that and get the 50% credit booster from the Holiday Ops event or any other event if there is one. Since the start of the event I gained 2 million credits and I'm waiting to buy my next vehicle until I have completed the discount of the Holiday Ops event. As you can see here in my calculations I am at a minus 4221 loss should I have not applied the Holiday Ops bonus and the personal reserve bonus. And as you can see with what premium, the earned battle credits are 50% higher, but also the holiday ops bonus is 50% higher and the personal reserve bonus is again increased by 50%. So hope you enjoyed this video, hope it gives you some insight on how you can easily manage your free to play account and continue to do so instead of buying your way in. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. As you know, this really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and we'll see each other in the next one for more tips and tricks and free to play games.